Hey guys, how's it going? Killshot here, brings our video, and in this video, I'm here to give you guys a little uh, tutorial on how to make your, you know, like how to animate your character uh, in Minecraft walk in Autodesk Maya 2016. So, um, this is for people who are like kind of, you know, I'm, I'm gonna kind of jump around here of like, you know, beginner tutorial and like some other, cool, you know, cool tutorials and all, you know, other kind of stuff like that. I'm not going to go like in order saying, okay, this is like, you know, the modeling, the effects, everything. I might, you know, skip around everything. So this is like a, you know, spin-off kind of video here. And um, this actually, this is a character, if you can see up here, M4D. Uh, this is a Minecraft 4th Dimension character. So you guys are having a little bit of a sneak peek at one of the characters um, in the 4th Dimension series. So here you guys go, a little bit of a teaser right here. Um, and uh, yeah, but I mean, that's his name, uh, yeah, Troy. But, um, you know, I don't want to reveal anything just yet, but, yeah, so this rig, I mean, if you're wondering, you know, where I got, I'll put it in the, in the description, um, I hope it will work, you know, like, the, just, like, the whole link will work and everything, <coughs> but, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, basically, I, I'm just gonna basically show you guys how to make your, you know, Maya character, or, like, your Minecraft character in Maya, um, you know, walk as an animation, and, um, yeah, it's probably like the best thing, the coolest, right? Guy. I mean, I, I, I love it. Like, so you can do a lot of stuff with it. So it's pretty cool. But first, let's get started with the walking animation. So first of all, this is like the hip joint kind of thing. And I would not start off like standing. I would start off <coughs> kind of like a little bit lower, like right around here, you know, um, maybe a little bit lower like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then have his, you know, arms kind of like, you know, just like regular, kind of like bent just a little bit. <coughs> so about my coughing, I have a little, little tiny bit of a cold. It's feeling up pretty well though, yeah. So, um, and then we'll just keep his head like, you know, just normal whenever. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then basically what we're going to do is this is like the master controller. This is like what will, you know, control everything, right? But we're not going to change this because it misses up a lot of stuff. So, um... I mean, it doesn't mess anything up, but it doesn't, it doesn't, like, it doesn't make your animation, like, as realistic. Um, but what you want to do, and this will, like, definitely be weird once you do this, but, um, but, you know, let's say a step, like, let's say two steps, like, two steps every second, right? So we want, you know, it'd be, like, you know, three seconds or so. So, like, you know, one, two, three. Something like that, right? And, obviously, the legs will stretch and it will, look ridiculously weird right but hold on a second we're gonna make the um one of the legs start or like one of the feet start right in front like right around there keyframe that and put uh, like to press s you keyframe it and then you set your um right leg back or whichever like you're you know you're, anim you're animating you set that back to one and then as the um you know as the hip joint goes and let me just actually go to the channel box and layer over here you see if say p there it'll actually you know move with the playback and then no p is no playback so you know just a helpful thing right there um but yeah so as it's going there at 15 actually wait, no I, I usually do when this usually gets kind of like stretched out so that now let's kind of make this kind of move a little bit forward right there so now you can see you know, it's kind of form, you know, like the pretty cool, like the step there. And then in the middle of it, it looks like it's like sliding across the ground. I usually just kind of pick up, you know, the foot and then kind of rotate that. So it looks a little bit more realistic. So now it looks like that. And it's really cool because if you do move this and then move it to like 30, like that, what will happen is it will, it, is it will move this with it right like that that's supposed to like stick to the ground but if you just move the hip joint like on on this on this rig particularly then it'll just you know it'll keep it like stuck to the ground so um now let's go with the other foot so as soon as i hit like, as soon as the, the other foot hits bam keyframe and then it's until this foot gets stretched right about there that's when this is going to land right here this foot so now it will look like that but it always in between, lift it up, <coughs> rotate it, and there you go. And that will be, uh, yeah, that's actually really cool. Look at that. 
yeah, that's some pretty decent. I mean, this is like your basics, but I mean, it does it does still like very good, and it is very like close to good. I mean, if you want to like spread them out just a tad, I mean, it feels like running in the way, then yeah. But um, yeah, but that's that, and then it goes to 90. So let's just kind of animate this all through. So let's do like that. As soon as that goes there. I, don't know. I might, I might like kind of cut to like to the end, or I might not. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so now we have basically a good walking animation here. Very good. Now it's time for the arms. So I mean, this is totally totally optional, but it kind of just you know makes it more real, kind of you know. So let's do the arms now. Like, so there you go, <coughs> going like that and that back. And then as this goes forward, ban at forty. Then this goes forward again, and then that goes forward right about there. And then that goes back again. And then that goes forward there, this goes forward here, that goes forward there, and this goes back. Now to the second arm, or like the, uh, the left arm here, and let's do uh, back here, actually let's kind of increase that, and then boom, that goes in front, bam, that goes in back, and you'll see kind of like the I you know, like the um, like the, like the float because like this isn't supposed to be normal, and then like you just kind of put that there, and it looks kind of natural, you know. So then that one again, so let's switch, and then one last thing right there, and there you go. So now, oh man, it's gonna look really good. Actually, let's, uh, let's turn this down to the correct 90 frames, and let's see how this looks. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Now. If you think that this is good enough and you think that like you're kind of done, okay, cool. But if I mean, if you want to add like a lot more detail to it, then then stay and, um, and I'll teach you some more. So here you go. Uh, I, we're doing like the hip control and like the like the rise up and rise down, kind of like the adding like the real animation here. <coughs> so because you kind of boost up off the ground a little bit, comes down right about there, so kind of. Make that a little bit lower. Comes off, boosts off. I'm, I'm not really going into much detail here, but you know, as he steps, come back down, and then, so you see what I mean here. He's oh, we'll just gotta end it there. Okay, now that was like step, like, you know, <coughs> part two of like <coughs> advanced detail here. So there you go. So that's that. And then if you kind of want to, you know, the character to kind of be, you know, if, if I mean, this is like crazy detail here. I mean, kind of like, you know, torso moving, you know, up. You can have it like that, you know, kind of like this. And then like that like just I don't know you can have fun with it though I'm not quite sure how I, I whatever you guys want to do I mean it just completely up to you and this is looking better by the oh dang this is looking really cool darn dude let's do, let's do this man this is fun okay there you go man that looks really good Give into the music, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is how you make a walking animation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If it did, um, you know, if, it, if this tutorial did help you, please leave a like down below. And if there's any other tutorials that you guys want me to do, please leave that down in the comments below. Um, I would, you know, love to like do some, you know, more tutorials and like how to do stuff. So it was really fun making this tutorial. Really, um, you know, it'll really hope you, really hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more um, my tutorials. Man, this, this character looks so good, like walking. Dang, look at that. It's good. All right, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.